Hello farmers and welcome back to No Man's Land. Topping off the T6 with some diesel because, well, I needed some. Uh, now I'm going to go over and repair it. I need to go over and collect some clothing. Uh, so what? And go ahead and sell that because I need some cash today. Uh, but we're going to get a lot of cash, but then again, like always, I'm going to go ahead and spend it. Uh, while we're at it in the T6, I think uh, some repairs could be done here. So let's go over and get some repairs done. See if I can get everything in the trigger. I'll probably try to repair everything. I got about five crates of clothing. That, sh that should bring a decent amount of cash. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and repair this for 21 bucks. Yep, repair that. Uh, the trailer repair for 58, we can do that. The T6 could be a little bit more expensive at 26.59. And the bale spike uh, condition is in, so, well, it's, it's, it's a little worn, but apparently I cannot repair it. Um, so, that, so that's good to go. Uh, yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of landscaping, some decorating. Not a whole lot, but I did take a little bit of time to do so. And you'll see it as we drive around the map. And hopefully we can show it off here in the first few minutes. Uh, a couple of people did ask, is that a mod I saw at the end of the episode? No, that's, that's just done video editing and that be it. So right here, yeah, we got a road now going out to the main road. Uh, I got some touching up space to do here. So uh, if you see a little landscaping here that's maybe not quite right don't worry we'll get it back around to it at some point but let's head on over to sell what and grab some clothing uh, everything else is pretty much you know I haven't really done anything else farm wise other than the grass I picked up the grass I put it in the side of the bunker I compacted it it's covered up it is now fermenting uh, but as we come over here this is where you're gonna start seeing some changes here and there uh, not so much in the buildings it's mostly just landscaping and some a little bit a couple decorations so yeah we come up to the main road this is now all asphalt going and we got a road going up and around to the road that used to cut over to the cow barn uh but the road from the main farm over to where this meets is still dirt but maybe we'll get to see that later on here as we come over here there is a bridge why is there a bridge well this is where the earthquake happened so now we kind of have a river running through the map uh, probably the easiest way to kind of show you the way the river is. Uh, let's actually go ahead and go into fly mode because I'm not going to go drive around the whole river so you can kind of see where it goes. But if we come on up here, you can kind of see uh, this is where the old farm road used to come alongside here. And I kind of put another pond here and the river then runs up to uh, the wooded area here. I guess this is where the river kind of starts off at. You know, just, we just got groundwater coming on out and that's where the river starts. Uh, so it comes on down through here, cuts across past the residential area. Uh, this is the original pond that was here. And then the river kind of runs through all the way to the other side of the map. Uh, as for the asphalt, you can kind of see now the main road, if you will. Now it comes up here and just kind of cuts across up to here. It meets where the beach, small BGA is, and that's our greenhouses, our cow barn. And it's all asphalt all the way down through our factories, all the way down on through. And I have done some decorating around our our little workshops here, which we'll see here very shortly. Uh, so let's drop on down here. That's a long drop. Uh, so these bridges that you'll be seeing, they, these are on the Giants Mod Hub. And there are a few uh, different uh, bridge mods you can find. So if you want to put bridges on your map, if you just go to the GE Mod Hub, uh, yeah, GE, uh, uh, Giants Editor Mod Hub, uh, if you just type in search bridges, there's like four different kind of bridge packs or bridges that you could use. And I have used a couple of different ones, so uh, we'll see them later on here. Let's go on down to So What. That's the first building I kind of uh, worked on here. I did even cut down the trees around the No Man Land shop, the ones I always keep forgetting. Uh, the trees are still lying there, just that I cut them down. So next time I get a log trailer, I need to go around and pick them on up. So yeah, we even got some trees now up and around the shops just to give it a little more shade. And of course, when fall comes, the color will be pretty darn good around here. So if we just pull in around here, yep, got these right here. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to turn off, actually I got four. Uh, I am going to turn off the So What factory just because we're not getting enough fabric. And I'm probably, yeah, I can see clothing. We just don't have the fabric coming in. So I'm going to just deactivate that. Uh, we're still making plenty of cotton here. We still got 103,000 liters of cotton uh, to go on through. Uh, but this will be the last time I sell the clothing this year until next year. So 
when next year, when next April comes, we'll have a good amount of clothing to sell. Yes, yeah, so we got some cars parked here because of workers, so on and so forth. Then if we come on down here past Bread Pit, I did uh, put down a little asphalt there. Uh, got some trees around here, leveled the ground, made it kind of smooth. So, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, with more roads going in, I'm going to try to stick to the main roads now on. Even the restaurant, Lord of the Wings, got a little bit of a parking lot, some cars parked there as well. Uh, these couple trees right here I do want to take on down at some point. Uh, I still want to do more decorations, like the smaller stuff. Kind of put them around the buildings a little bit. Didn't get that far into the decorating. Uh, everything else down through here is pretty much the same. But we're heading down to the farm shop because that is what's offering the best price for clothing. I think we're going to get like 10200 and change uh, per 1,000 liters. So, a decent amount of cash here. So, 41074 Oh, I forgot what I said. It's 10200 and change is what the price was going for. That's what I should have said. I don't know what I said. I think I said 2000 something. Those 10200 and change. Anyways, let's go up past the factories, which I hope to begin to today. Not decorating, but I hope we can put down the sugar factory and also oil production as well. Uh, that means we should be getting to like the month of June slash July to sell all the furniture. So we'll see how that goes. But now we're going to actually head up to the cow barn because the cows do need some attention. We are going to make some TMR. Yep, so this is all asphalt all the way up and around to the cow barn now as well. And the factories, I leveled out the ground a little bit around the factories and just put some asphalt around. Nothing too special here. I didn't want to get involved into it because I got two more factories, like I said, to hopefully put down today. And I think I need to space up my factories just a little bit more than what we got here. So there, now it kind of... Looks and of course we'll decorate more around the factories once we get them all in place. I didn't do nothing with Tight Knit, which is the wool factory. Or I think it's actually called a spinnery on the base game. Now I haven't run the road from the resident residential area through this road yet. Not really sure how I want to do it yet, uh, but I didn't get that far. So all the landscaping I did probably took me like about an hour and a half, two hours just running it through. Uh, the most part I think I spent on was the bridges, trying to make sure the bridges would fit just right. So here's a different type of bridge, a wooden one. First, I'm actually driving over it and see how smooth it is. Yep, that'll work. That will definitely work. Then we come up to the Big Red Barn. I did uh, a little bit of landscaping around that. Got some trees planted down. Some more asphalt thrown around there. And hopefully sometime soon, premium potatoes and a pig food. I did top that off with some water so our potatoes can be made. Our premium potatoes can be made. Alright, so there is all the grass being uh, compacted and of course fermenting. And I got some trees here. That tree is still <laughs> got to go bye-bye. Along with a lot of other trees. Uh, let me go ahead and just throw this. We don't need to be hauling that around here. As of right now, I do believe the bucket is over here. Yes, it is. Uh, but I think I'll leave the bale spike. No, I'm going to take the bale spike off. I want to put the silage in it first. All right, and we'll detach that. Let's grab our bucket. Because in the other bunker is 12,000 liters of silage. And I want to use it all. Let's spin that around. And then we'll grab the McCormick with the mixer. I think right about there is where it should be. Yep, close enough. go ahead and park this here now usually I just want to throw in 10,000 liters of silage but I got just under I think it's just under 12,000 liters of silage in there but I would like to empty it on out I was not whoops uh, I was not actually going to comp uh, 
I was going to compact the grass, which I did, but I didn't want to cover it. But then when I saw we didn't have as much silage as I thought we did over here, it's like I better make some, make some silage. I was just going to keep it as chaff. And then just wait until I cut the grass again and then compact it again. That way I have a whole bunch of silage. Then we can sell it at our leisure. Alright, so this is going to take me about 12 bucket loads to dump into here. And then we'll throw in the hay and the straw to make some TMR and top off the cows so they're all good and happy. And then I think I'm pretty much done for the month of May. I'll just have to fast forward until we go sell the furniture. Make sure the animals are pretty good. I think the chickens may need some food tomorrow, the month of June. So I'll make sure they're all taken care of. Just one more bucket to get, I think. I should also mention I did get the grass field fertilized, so next time I cut it, it's fully fertilized because yeah, I, I think it's half the time I forget to fertilize it. And there we go. So the bunker should be empty. Yep. Oh, it did tell me in the upper right hand corner. Just didn't see it. Uh, bunker silo is empty. So, yeah, we'll have 220,000 liters of silage tomorrow ish. But I'm not going to sell it. We're just going to hang on to it and wait until good time to sell it. Alright, so now what I want to do is drop off the bucket and put in at least one good hay bale. Straw is basically a filler. Um, that hay bale there might only be, it may not be 8,000 liters. Let's see how many liters that is. Uh, so that is a full bale. Okay, so I don't have any quote unquote empty bales. Plus, what I mean, empty bales, a bale that I've used that it's not a full bale. And of course, you're not going to fall in there and be accepted. There we go. Not the way I usually fill it, for sure. Alright, so so far, where the hay isn't where it needs to be. The silage, of course, that's the first one we put into. Uh, this does hold... Yeah, let me go. Do I have a straw bale that's not a full one? This is too heavy. Let me go see how many liters that bale is. I think I got a bale somewhere that's not fully used. Uh, it's been used, I should say. Well, that'd be a bale that's not fully used. I don't want to put too much straw in and it drops the hay down so far to where it's not actually TMR. Alright, so how is that mixture? Even though putting that bale didn't go in too smoothly. Alright, so that looks good. And it's full enough as far as I'm concerned. So let's back this up and top off the cows. And that is me done for the month of May. I just know when I put this mixer in there, I got to get it closer to the feed trough. Got to angle it just a little bit. And there we go. Let's top off the cows with some TMR. They should be nice and happy now for a few months. Kind of not getting into the trough, but it's close enough. And the cows are saying thank you. Alright, let's pull out the McCormick. And let's shut the door. And there, we're all set. So now I'm just going to go ahead and bring the tractors on back. I'll see you either late month of June, which is tomorrow, because we got to sell the furniture. Or early in the morning in July. Uh, because that's when the furniture does peak. So I'll see you then.
Not quite selling the furniture just yet, but there's a great demand for wood chips at the biomass heating plant, so why not go ahead and sell all the wood chips we do have? I did clean out the furniture shop with the wood chips. I still have about maybe 4,000 liters of wood chips at the sawmill, but we're just going to go ahead and sell this. I mean, we're not going to get a great deal of money here, but, you know, it's a great demand. We're getting like $61 per 1,000, so... Yeah, don't hold your breath for being able to buy a factory with the amount of wood chips we're going to sell here shortly. But what this will allow you to do, because you have not quite seen this yet, I don't think, uh, other than when I was flying around in the air. Uh, this is where the road comes up. The main road does come up, kind of-ish. I'm going to call it the main road because it's got asphalt into it. And I have uh, just done a little bit of asphalt and redecorating it around the uh, biomass heating plant. So we should be able to pull right into here, right? And this is the sell point for wood chips. Yep. Uh, I know a couple people have asked, am I going to have traffic going around here? I did that uh, in 19 on Green Mountain Forest, which is a forestry map. And that map, basically, when I started it, just had a sawmill and a shop. And that was it. And you, you know, I made my own roads and all that. I had my traffic going around and all that. I don't think I'll be doing that here in No Man's Land. Ooh, $721 for wood chips. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, while we're here, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get some manure from the cows and get that fourth greenhouse up and running. Oh, what did our uh, big red barn get done last night? So this is where I'm probably going to have to bring in the pallet forks and actually do this manually. Because it's just going to spawn everything here. So I got premium potatoes. We got mixed salad. Uh, pig food? We have pig food. So, yeah, I'm not going to want to sell everything, so coming in here with an auto loader and taking it uh, to wherever. Well, basically, premium potatoes and mixed salads, I think, can only go to one spot. But I may not want to sell everything at that time. So, let's see, premium potatoes are going for five thirty something And, wow, the prices fluctuate a lot on that one. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but it's five forty seven, five twenty six. So, not a great big fluctuation there. Uh, mixed salads... 1200 down to it. So, yeah, the price doesn't really... The graph makes it look like there's a big difference in the price. There really isn't, so I'll probably just sell those uh, when we get over here. So I'll probably try to sell some of that. Although the big food, I don't want to sell the big food, so I'll have to bring the pallet forks over with the T6 and separate those. I just want to come in here. I kind of like this little thing right here. In a way, you just got to come over, hit R, and it fills up your trailer. It's kind of nice. Now, on the greenhouses, we've had them up for a couple days now-ish. Uh, wait, did I put them down in the month of April or May? Either way, they're not going th through the material fast. So, uh, that's why I have no problem taking this manure, manure on over and start the fourth greenhouse with strawberries. Now, with the strawberries, I got to put that on store, not distribute, because I got a couple buildings that can take strawberries. And the only place I want them to go is down to Bread Pit. So, we're going to go ahead and dump the manure on into here. Now, I should be able to go into production buildings. Uh, how much fabric did we get overnight? 6,500. I'm just going to leave that off until this is all said and done. Uh, let me turn that off. I see a red mark, so we'll turn that off. Uh, the last greenhouse is going to be down here, and I want to do strawberries with seed and manure. So, activate, and this, storing. Because what it's going to do is it's going to distribute, if I put it on distribute, it's going to put it to Bread Pit and the Big Red Barn. Because both can make cakes. And I just want to go ahead and make them in Bread Pit. Uh, so, yeah, there is the wood chips. Yeah, I got to level this out a little bit here. Didn't do any work in there. Oh, that's bouncy, bouncy. Uh, yep, yeah, so back to the farm. I'm going to grab the Mac Anthem truck with the Crone trailer. Go pick up all the furniture. And sell that right now it's going just for about 2200 and we're bringing it on down to the supermarket uh, I don't know exactly how many pallets we got but it's a good amount well, let's see how many liters of furniture we do have to sell today as for our crop you can see our crop is growing rather nicely on both sides actually the sugarcane I don't think has reached no maybe it has reached the second growth stage yep it's getting up there yeah sugar cane's gonna get very tall and in a few months time we'll be harvesting that making some sugar and once we get that sugar made well then we'll be start making some cakes but there's still a couple more products we need to get going i need to probably bring the milk down at some point and start making some butter 
And that also needs to be put on storing. I can't put that in distribute because that will go to the Big Red Barn as well. Yeah, I probably should do some landscaping around here since these are the first buildings I put down. I really haven't touched on them since. Uh, but now, yeah, there is no road going on over. And yeah, you can kind of see the river kind of runs right on through here. I will have to put a couple more bridges down. I don't have a bridge going over to the sunflower field, which I probably should mention. Someone did say about the uh, the beehives. Yeah, it doesn't really show in the field the the um, the added yield to it, but they did test on it, and it does yield better with the beehives. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the side of our trailer here, so we can kind of actually see how it loads on in. Let's grab these two here first. All right, and as you can see, all the furniture we have piled up since like last August, maybe. Hopefully this doesn't break the game on me here. All right, so there's 35,000 liters. So, you know, just, just double the amount of liters and add maybe a couple thousand dollars on top of that. And that's what we get. So, so far, so good. Yeah, I'm glad we got this trailer now because if we just had the other... And that's all I can fit in, fit in there. Well, I'd say that's all I can fit in there. That's kind of a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and close that on up. So on down to the supermarket. But since I don't got no bridges, no roads, I got to drive all the way around now. Oh, this is not this is not like 60,000 liters of furniture. It's actually the weight. I wish it would kind of show the weight. Um, it's probably a lot of weight on there. But how much do a, how much does a pallet? A furniture actually weigh. So 1.1 ton. And I got what 60. I got 60 pallets on here. That is a heavy load for this trailer, I think. So we're talking uh, 66,000. Wait, tons. No, six. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Oh, this is going to be a long drive. I I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, at least I made it to the asphalt. Uh, I'm finding it kind of interesting when I was taking the track from the sawmill over to the farm, where it's not really a well-made road as we saw, I maxed out at 14 miles an hour. Um, on the dirt road from the main farm to the main road, I hit about 18, 19, and now that I'm asphalt, I'm actually hitting up about 21 sometimes. Interesting. I don't know if that, if the ground you're actually uh, traveling on has an effect on traction, which it should. I just don't know if Farming Simulator has implemented that or not, but it looks like they may have. I'm kind of glad No Man's Lane is kind of flat because with the load I got in here, I probably should be unloading some of this furniture and uh, taking like half a load. I still got another trip to make, but it won't be 60,000 liters of furniture. But we're getting on down there. So yeah, we should get about 120, I'm gonna say like $125,000 from this load right here. So that's gonna be pretty good. But like I said, all the money that we got and we'll be getting here, we got a couple factories to put on down, but even after putting down a couple factories, we should have a little bit of chains left over. I, I, I'm keep checking the store to see what's on sale. And so far, I mean, there's some things that go, hey, that's interesting. Uh, something that we probably will have in the future, uh, but nothing that we need. That need and want thing I've gone over a few times. I probably didn't show it, but at Lord of the Wings in the parking lot, I put down a couple of lights there. Even though we don't really work at night, uh, at some point here we'll have, we'll have to have a, like a night a night run, if you will. I'll probably show, open this up so I can see what I'm selling here. Keep on selling. Okay, so 132,659 getting us almost up to 200 grand all right now i just got to go ahead and pick up our next load 
I didn't quite take a look to see how many pallets were left, but it could be like 20. Maybe 20 or something like that. Let's go find out. Well, there actually might be more than 20 of them here. There's 10 already. I might have another 16 or so here. And there we go. 26,000 more liters. So we're looking at about another $55,000 coming our way here very soon. Back on down to the supermarket. We'll sell these. And uh, yeah, we are pretty much done for the month of June. The animals are taken care of. The one thing I need to double check on are the sheep. The sheep are producing a lot of wool. Well, I mean a lot of wool that their spawn point can hold six, uh, sorry, 8,000 liters. And I think every two months they pretty much fill that up. So I got to make sure... They got that, and they also got to make sure they got plenty of hay over there as well. Um, even though I bring a couple extra bales over in this pilot there, they seem to go through the hay quite a bit. Alright, let's get another $55,000 into our account. Now, part of me wants to pay off that loan a little bit, but I also want to keep the money just in case something comes up for sale. Like a harvester, perhaps, maybe? And I'm not fully into the trigger. Okay, I'll get the ones in the back. I mean, we were just shy of uh, 200,000, so we can get a rough idea of what we did sell here. So I would say uh, just uh, 57 and a half thousand on that on that load. So we got the cash now. Definitely to go ahead and put down the sugar factory and of course the oil production, which we'll probably do in the month of July here. It's going to go ahead and skip through because yeah, it's getting kind of late in the evening, and I wanted to sit there with at least a bit of money in my account, at least overnight, because you never know. Like I said, could wake up and could be something for sale that we want. Uh, speaking of, let me just go ahead and double check. Uh, that is kind of what we got for a planter anyway. So, actually, I think that was a drill. So, nothing of interest currently. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just call it a night. And we'll double check on the sheep before I go to bed. And the cows. And the chickens. And uh, I'll see you in the month of July. And we'll start building a couple of factories. Well, it is the month of July and something I was not expecting. I kind of forgot our oats are ready for harvest. Uh, is, it, is the uh, wheat field ready as well? Is that possible that the wheat is ready? Hang on a second. Um, yep, our cereal crop fields are ready for harvest. Okay, uh, that is interesting. Uh, first thing in the morning, let's go ahead and check the store. And a 9R John Deere tractor for 146 uh, the current horsepower on that is uh, 462. I think our Fent is 510. Um, but I could upgrade the horsepower as well if I wanted to. If I were, uh, that would bring the price up to 250000 So uh, definitely nothing that we're going to get involved in uh, today. Uh, but as for getting involved in today, a couple things. Uh, yeah, the sheep, just as I brought the tractor trailer back and parked it on up. Uh, the sheep were full of wool, so I had to go put that all aside. And I'm just kind of curious. Uh, are you alright there, fella? Ma'am? You're just sleeping? I hope so. Uh, so overnight, that's how much wool they made overnight. So 2,000 and... Uh, 2,211 liters of wool in a matter of like 10 hours. So that's, that's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. Everywhere else, we are fine, I do believe. I shouldn't have to check on nothing. I'm going to check on the big red barn just for a second here. I think we got plenty of storage for everything. Uh, yeah, premium potatoes and mixed salads are ready to spawn as well. But overall, that's not too bad. Uh, I need to actually get into a tractor. We're just going to grab the fence, I suppose. And we're going to drive on down here because one thing we're going to put down, someone did uh, have a good point what we could do, and that is for the maple syrup production cell point, we could put it 
they said I think they kind of said the residential area but I think now that we got our farm road kind of put in I think we're gonna go ahead and put it kind of like on the corner of the main road and the farm road I don't know how much more we'll get than the no man land shop for pricing but I'll just give it another option and plus you know give us uh, some more decoration around the map as it is Maybe we'll put it right by the water the bridge in the water Actually, that could kind of go snug. There we go. I was going to put on this side, but actually, I think we're going to put it right in here. And let me back up a little bit here, and we'll go into construction. I said construction. Thank you. Took a second. Uh, let me go into landscaping. Let's make sure that it's flat, first of all. And then let's go to plant again. Get rid of the bushes that are here. All right, and then go to production, selling points, and where... Oh, there it is right there. Now, is it going to get rid of the grass, or is it not going to get rid of the grass? That is the question. Uh, it does get rid of the grass. Okay. So, how much of a better price, or is it going to be the same on the maple syrup? Right here. I got to find it first, and then... Uh, so, it's pretty much the same. But you know what? It's good for decoration. It only costs $1,000 to put on down. So, pure maple syrup. Support your local maple syrup provider, which is us. All right, now we're going to scoot across kind of the residential area and all the way to the other side and down to the factories. And we got to put down a couple of plants. Not exactly, I know I'm going to put them as of yet, but we will soon find out when we get down there. All right, park the fence over here so it's out of the way. Uh, let's go into construction. And of course, we need production buildings and make sure I get the no handcuffs mod ones. So it produces five times can hold five times as much and produce it five times as fast uh i don't know what the buildings look like that's the grain which we already that's a cereal factory okay uh that's dairy grain mill oil mill how big are you i was thinking about putting one over here on the other side of the road yeah i think we'll put it over here but before I put anything down this time, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I flatten out the area. So I mean, it's got to be pretty darn flat because it costs 80000 and uh, landscaping is 80022 So it's going to be pretty darn flat. But let's go ahead and make sure about that. Uh, and let's do it like this. All right, back into productions. And I think I want it this way, right? Because the front of the building, yeah, kind of like this. Uh, there we go. So we got our oil productions on down. So now we got to find, is this the sugar? That's the sugar one. Uh, the sugar one's actually kind of on the small side. And I think we'll just go ahead and put it down like over here. And that costs 80,000 and landscaping is 80,000. I'm not gonna bother flatten it up because it's gotta be pretty well darn flat. And I do wanna separate them just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put that one. I do got the front of the building facing the road, right? Yes, we do. Let's try to square it up to the road as best we can. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and put it down right there. All right, so now we're ready to do some oil production and make some sugar. A whole bunch of sugar, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. 
So let's see, I'm trying to figure out how many more production buildings I got to put down. I'll have to look into it. I don't want to do landscaping around here until I got all the factories put down. But I'm just trying to think off the top of my head, do I, what else do I need here? And I'm trying to, oh, cereal. Oh, well, we got plenty of, yeah, we got cereal to make. Uh, we got grapes uh, to make, oh, uh, it's not wine, is it? What, what do you, uh, it, it's, it's grapes, wine juice, maybe? I got to look at that because I kind of forgot. Productions. That's, oh, oh, grape production. Uh, so it's raisins and grape juice. All right, so there's no wine. Okay, uh, so that's what we got to make out of there. So yeah, we got the, we got to make cereal. We got to do grapes, and of course olives. We'll go in here to make olive oil. Uh, I think there is some productions. No, wrong page. Um, that we can actually use oil for in the big red barn. So if we go up to the red, big red barn, there are a couple that actually require. I think some oil. It's too bad you don't need a little bit of oil for the popcorn. Is there anything I need oil for? I guess I don't need oil for anything in here. All right, so we'll just be making oil and selling it straight up for now. Uh, I don't really have any other use other than making oil, and that's it. Uh, but hopefully the pricing is a little bit better than it was uh, when I checked on Elm Creek. But you know what? We're going to do it anyways. We'll make a little bit of cash off it. Not a whole lot, but we'll make some. But that still leaves me with $94,000 in the bank account after putting down those factories. That is really, really good. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. So that will allow us to do some things. Uh, nothing to purchase today. So I'm going to hang on to that money. I'm not going to bother paying off any of our loans either. I'm uh, going to hang on to that just for now. Because we got harvesting to do here. And maybe, maybe I'll pay off a little bit more of the loan just before winter time after all the harvesting's done we kind of got a grip on what we're doing uh but yeah not too bad uh i wonder what the furniture price is this morning because i probably could sell some more furniture if i wanted to uh furniture just went right past it yeah so the price is still up right around uh 2200 so i probably got maybe five pallets so i could get like another 10 grand and get up to a hundred thousand dollars not not a hundred thousand dollars uh ten thousand dollars uh, that'd be pretty darn good. But yeah, we are pretty much all set here. The cows are all set. All the animals are happy. Uh, the eggs, I do got a good pile of eggs to bring in. But those eggs are probably going to go to Bread Pit. And start preparing for making some cakes in about another month or two. And then we got to get the milk on down uh, from the cow barn down to the dairy godmother. Start making some butter. And start transferring things over on our own. Uh, let's go take the greenhouse and see how many strawberries we made overnight. Now remember, the strawberries are on storing because I got to bring over the bread pit myself because they could end up in the big, big red barn. Just take a little bit of a trip over here. Oh yeah, I got to put down a road here. Yeah, I got to do some landscaping around here as well. So I'm kind of curious to see where this stuff spawns at. Oh, wow. Uh, we got a good amount of strawberries already. Yep, so I have to bring those on down. And per pallet is how many liters? Okay, so 500 liters per. So I got one, two... I got 3,000 liters of strawberries already. That seems like a lot of strawberries. A lot of strawberries. But we're making more product. We're selling things more. Money's coming in faster. Things are looking really good. Uh, next episode... Uh, looks like we'll be doing some harvesting. The oats will be go coming on down to the Big Red Barn. And we'll start making some oatmeal with it. And then the wheat will be harvested and they'll be put in the silo for the chickens. I fed the chickens yesterday and we still got about maybe 25,000 liters of wheat left over from last year. So I may bring some on down and make some flour. And then maybe I can bring it over here and start making some pasta. Uh, we could probably start doing that and selling it. Uh, but definitely the one thing with the Big Red Barn, since we're making so many different products in there, I will have to bring the pallet forks over and separate what I want to sell that day. Well, I think I'll just probably sell everything at once, because the pricing doesn't seem to be that big of a difference. But I will have to take the pallets of pig food out and start storing those somewhere. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to be having a pig barn, or a hog pen, uh, somewhere up in this general area here. I'm thinking right at the edge of this rock cliff to our right, so the pigs have an overlook. And uh, 
Yeah, we'll have a nice little pig farm starting up there. But yeah, our wheat is ready. The oats are ready. The factories are down, so we got everything built. Now it's just a matter of harvesting everything this year. So things are looking really good. I think the map is coming along good. Uh, putting in a quote-unquote river, if you will, with some bridges. Definitely uh, change up a little bit. Putting down some trees. So when fall comes, we'll get some fall colors going on around here more and more. But plenty, plenty more to go here in No Man's Land. But for today, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in No Man's Land. But until then, have a good one.